my project was called Building Bridges Connects Brisbane and my focus was on three iconic bridges, the Hornybrook Highway, the William Jolly Bridge and the Story Bridge and my grandfather was the builder for each of those bridges. So it was a chance to look into that history and its impact on Brisbane and Queensland. I think the process was a good social action research style um, in that you sort of started somewhere and you saw where it took you. And I found that I really followed a lot of leads because I knew that I had a lot to discover and through the process of my work, it was like joining the dots or putting together pieces of a puzzle. And that doesn't always happen through a linear process. My grandfather was known as MR. His name was Manuel Richard. When he was about 11, his father died. So he left school by the age of 13 and um, took on an apprenticeship as a carpenter to really help support the family. So he always had a great sense of responsibility and caring for other people and really giving back to community. He built up the company with his five brothers and one sister and together they took on very big projects around Queensland and also the building of the sales of the Opera House in Sydney. Emma was described as a big man, a strong man, and because he was such a problem solver and inventor, he always had a belief that he was right. For some people that would have been quite hard to work with, but everyone was swept up in a sense of family and great loyalty to him. In doing the research, I realised that the three bridges were built back to back during the 1930s, so during the Depression. So the company expanded in that time and had the courage to do so, and that enabled thousands of people to be employed, and that made a difference to families and people in Queensland and contributed to the loyalty of the workforce to my grandfather and also building skills in Queensland during that time. It's been a pleasure to come to the library to find out the wealth of resources that are here. I found that the Hornybrook Company arranged photography for all of the construction projects. For instance, the 800 photos taken of the Story Bridge constructions. During the time of the fellowship, the Curavis Foundation has supported the restoration of three beautiful big albums of the Story Bridge. As a fellow, I was able to go along to observe some of the restoration process. That's been a highlight of the fellowship as well. The Story Bridge is heritage listed, as is the William Jolly Bridge. The Hornybrook Highway is still beloved by the people of Brisbane and it's loved in its absence, which is very touching for me to see. The portals of the highway remain and they are in an art deco style and my grandfather was such a practical and functional person but then there's this lovely art deco work. There were so many things I found out in looking into the history for each of the bridges and the William Jolly Bridge was the first of these iconic bridges. One of the things I noticed was a photo of a 17-year-old girl called Karma Eklund. As it turned out, this young woman had designed the protective images that we see up here on the William Jolly Bridge, and they protect the bridge to this day. The outcomes of the project have been a narrative story for each of the bridges, and there's a photographic story for each of the bridges. Being a fellow has enabled a a rapid connection with resources and people. It's been like an accelerator. Being in the fellowship room and mixing with the others who have fellowships and each person is so passionate about their project that it makes it really exciting learning about what other people are doing. Mm -hmm.